Today is Friday, November 18th. What to know about a big leadership shakeup in the federal government. And people on both sides of the aisle are responding. Also, nearly the entire country is dealing with colder than usual weather for this time of year. One city has basically shut down. Even the NFL team is relocating. Plus, which airport is considered the best in the U.S.? What prompted Twitter to suddenly close its office doors again? And the record-breaking yet frustrating fiasco for Taylor Swift fans? The public sale for tickets to her show has now been canceled. We'll explain. Those stories and more news you need to know in today's episode. Welcome, welcome to The Newsworthy. All the day's news in around 10 minutes. Fast, fair, fun, and on the go. I'm Erica Mandy. Thanks so much for being here. You ready? Let's do this. It's the end of an era on Capitol Hill. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is putting down the gavel at 82 years old. She says when Congress starts up its new term in 2023, she does not want a leadership position. This is a pretty big change since Pelosi has been leading the Democratic Party in Washington for nearly two decades. She made history in 2007 when she became the first woman speaker of the House, and President Biden called her the most consequential speaker in history. It's unusual for a party leader to give up their leadership role even while they're staying in Congress. But Pelosi says when her husband got attacked in their home this year, it made her rethink her future. And then after the election, when Republicans won the House majority, she decided to step down. Since yesterday's announcement, Pelosi has been getting well wishes from several members of Congress on both sides of the aisle. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell released a statement saying, quote, The speaker and I have disagreed frequently and forcefully over the years, but I have seen firsthand the depth and intensity of her commitment to public service. As for the future of the House, House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy is the front runner to become speaker next year, and House Dems will hold leadership elections next month. As Pelosi put it, quote, The hour has come for a new generation to lead the Democratic caucus. The U.S. Defense Department may have some explaining to do. For the fifth year in a row, it failed its audit. Outside auditors look into the Pentagon each year to keep track of where government funds go and how they're spent. Well, this year, the auditors combed through $3.5 trillion in assets, and they found the Defense Department could not account for about 61% of them. That said, officials say their bookkeeping is actually getting better— and that Russia's invasion of Ukraine shows how important it is to make sure they track weapons and equipment precisely. And they promise the department is taking this seriously. It's the crypto catastrophe that's being called an even bigger financial disaster than the Enron scandal. The cryptocurrency exchange FTX went bankrupt last week, leaving more than a million customers with nothing. Now it's time to clean up the mess. Some of you might remember John Ray. He's the business professional who had to deal with the collapse of Enron back in 2007. Well, now Ray just took control of FTX to guide them through bankruptcy. Ray says things at FTX were far out of line, from business funds being used to buy employees' homes to a complete lack of security controls. He said, quote, Never in my career have I seen such a complete failure of corporate controls and such a complete absence of trustworthy financial information as occurred here. He's calling the situation unprecedented. Now, officials are trying to recover some of the money that's been lost. FTX's failure reaches farther than you might think. The company had several major sports sponsorships, including with Major League Baseball and Formula One racing. Biggest of all was the sports venue, where the Miami Heat NBA basketball team plays. Now, it will no longer be called FTX Arena. No criminal charges have been filed yet, but the U.S. House Financial Services Committee is set to investigate the FTX collapse, and the company founder is expected to testify. The hearings could begin as soon as next month. Home buyers are finally getting some relief in the housing market. Mortgage rates dropped quite a bit last week. Freddie Mac says the average rate for a 30-year fixed mortgage is now 6.6%. Just last week, the average was almost 7.1%. So that's the biggest weekly decline in more than 40 years. Still, it's not exactly cheap to buy a home right now. Just a year ago, the 30-year fixed rate was only 3.1%. Of course, since then, the Federal Reserve has hiked interest rates a few times as it tries to tame inflation. And more rate hikes are likely coming soon. The next Fed meeting is happening next month. Millions of Americans are waking up to what feels like a winter morning in the middle of fall. Temperatures are running between 10 and 20 degrees below average across the Midwest, the Plains, Mid-Atlantic, and Northeast. In Montana, Wyoming, Nebraska, and parts of Colorado, temperatures are more like 40 degrees below average. And in Buffalo and other parts of New York State, the snow is coming down fast. Snow today could fall at a rate of more than three inches an hour, and strong winds will make it tough to see very far ahead. 
The National Weather Service says it could be crippling and that travel will be very difficult to impossible. So Erie County, where Buffalo is, issued a driving ban. Only emergency workers are allowed to drive on the roads. The Buffalo Bills were supposed to play a home game against the Cleveland Browns on Sunday, but that game is now relocated to Detroit. Even though the snow will be the most extreme in New York, it's still going to be pretty cold elsewhere. It will lead to the first freeze for big cities like Atlanta and Washington, D.C. And it'll bring the first dangerously cold wind chills of the season to Chicago. More news is still coming up, but first, a quick break for our sponsor. Do you need help finding holiday gifts kids will actually like? KiwiCo is here to help you give more than just gifts. They're here to show you how to give awesome. From robots to rocket ships, all their projects are designed to spark fun and excitement for kids of all ages. If you don't already know, KiwiCo delivers super cool science, technology, and art projects for kids. And there are nine different subscription lines for different ages and categories. I've loved getting really thoughtful and high-quality toys that I know are really engaging for my son's age and great for his development. They're designed by experts and tested by kids, and I don't have to do anything but open the box. And as my son gets older, I'm excited to see him engage in more specific projects from KiwiCo. For older kids in our extended family, I know it's super fun when they get KiwiCo as a gift because they can continue to be excited even beyond the holidays when boxes continue to arrive at the door just for them. Give awesome this holiday with KiwiCo. Get your first month free on any crate line at kiwico.com slash newsworthy. That's your first month free at K-I-W-I-C-O, kiwico.com slash newsworthy. The annual list of best and worst airports in the United States is here. These come from the Wall Street Journal, which ranked 20 of the nation's busiest airports to see how they stacked up against each other. Ticket prices, TSA wait times, and customer satisfaction were some of the main factors. Starting off at the top of the list, San Francisco International Airport came in at number one. The Wall Street Journal said attractions like yoga rooms, live music, and museums make spending time there actually enjoyable. Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport arrived at number two, and the Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport landed in third. At the very bottom, New York and New Jersey had a rough trip. Newark Liberty Airport came in last, while John F. Kennedy International Airport arrived second to last. The FBI director says he's extremely concerned about one of the most popular social media apps in the world. We're talking about TikTok. FBI director Christopher Wray says he's worried China could weaponize the information they're collecting from TikTok's millions of users and even control their phones and other devices. The popular app is owned by a Chinese company called ByteDance. Former President Donald Trump once talked about banning the app in the United States, but it never happened. We're waiting to see if Congress or President Biden decide to take any action. But the controversy is not slowing down TikTok one bit. At a time when Meta, Twitter, and Amazon are all laying off thousands of employees, TikTok is reportedly looking to hire. The information reports TikTok plans to double the size of its current staff in the U.S. Recruiters from TikTok are even swooping in and picking up talented workers who were recently let go at the other major social media companies. Twitter suddenly closed its doors and told all employees to go home through the weekend. Reports cite sources and internal messages that say Twitter executives are worried employees might try to sabotage the company as hundreds refuse to commit to the new CEO's request. Elon Musk gave employees an ultimatum this week, saying they needed to opt in to being hardcore in their jobs by the end of the day yesterday or take their severance and leave. Well, now less than half of the company's remaining staff are reportedly signing on to these new rules. This is the second time offices have suddenly closed since Musk took over Twitter. The company also closed temporarily during mass layoffs just a few weeks ago. With all this chaos unfolding and all these employees apparently leaving, the hashtag RIP Twitter was trending on Twitter last night. Musk tweeted a few things seemingly in response, like a graveyard meme. But he also wrote, quote, we just hit another all-time high in Twitter usage, LOL. Fallout is growing from the Taylor Swift-related Ticketmaster crash we told you about earlier this week. The attorneys general from Tennessee and North Carolina are both launching investigations into the debacle. When tickets to Swift's latest Eras tour went on sale, the demand from the millions of fans overwhelmed Ticketmaster's website, bringing it down. Many people were locked out and never able to get tickets. Some of the tickets that were scooped off Ticketmaster ended up on other ticket sites going for more than $28,000. Ticketmaster called the demand for Swift's concert tickets historically unprecedented. The company says its site was hit by a staggering number of bot attacks, along with a huge demand from real fans. Now the attorneys general say they'll be looking to see if Ticketmaster violated any consumers' rights or antitrust laws. 
Several members of Congress have recommended the U.S. Justice Department launch its own investigation into the ticketing industry overall. By the way, Taylor Swift tickets are still going to be hard to come by. They were supposed to go on sale to the general public today, but Ticketmaster canceled that. Millions of people already got their tickets from the pre-sales, so now Ticketmaster says it just does not have enough tickets left. And just on Tuesday, more than 2 million Taylor Swift tickets were sold. That's the most ever sold for any artist in just one day. Ticketmaster has not said yet if more Taylor Swift tickets will ever be sold on the platform. That's it for the main news today, so now it's time for Feel Good Friday, when we bring you one extra feel-good or positive news story before the weekend. But first, a quick break for our sponsor. When journalists break a story, they rarely do it alone. Instead, it takes an incredible team. If you're looking to build a team that shapes headlines, you need a hiring partner to help you find top talent who will ask tough questions. You need Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates with the right skills when you can do it all with Indeed. Find top talent fast with Indeed's suite of powerful hiring tools like Indeed Instant Match, assessments, and virtual interviews. Indeed helps star applicants shine before the interview with over 135 graded assessment tests they can take from cooking to coding. Indeed knows when you're growing your own business, you have to make every dollar count. That's why with Indeed, you only pay for quality applications that match your must-have job requirements. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Visit indeed.com slash newsworthy to start hiring now. Just go to indeed.com slash newsworthy. Indeed.com slash newsworthy. Terms and conditions apply. Okay, now back to Feel Good Friday. Lots of people are generous, but some like to take it to the next level. In Birmingham, Alabama, a local woman named Lynn Thomas has been giving away part of every paycheck she earns as an assistant manager at a convenience store. Thomas pays for people's groceries. She buys them tanks of gas. She gets them lunch. And keep in mind, these are complete strangers. She's even made a game of it on Facebook. She'll quiz her followers on a certain question, number, or color, and whoever gets it right wins a portion of her hard-earned cash. Thomas told USA Today, quote, there is so much going on and this is just showing love and blessing somebody just because. She also posts on her Facebook page reminders for others to be generous too, even if all they can give is a smile. And some of her followers have even started contributing money to help her share the love. As some of the people Thomas has given money to say, random acts of kindness like hers make the world go round. All right, we'll be back tomorrow with our special edition Saturday episode all about navigating political conversations with loved ones. You'll want to hear this if you think some divisive topics may be coming up over your Thanksgiving dinner. Then join us again Monday for your next news roundup. For now, thank you so much for listening and have a great weekend. 